good evening, family and friends. We do understand that we have we are not coming to you with Bible study on tonight, but we just wanted to get on and let you know how much we appreciate your support of the ministry here at the New Beginning Church. We thank you so much for being good, for being kind, for being financially supportive, as well as being supportive with your prayers and your well wishes. To the New Beginning Church members, thank you for being faithful, for being faithful to the Lord, for being faithful to the church, and for being faithful to the calling of winning souls for Christ. We appreciate the partnership. We appreciate the ministry that you have joined in with us throughout this year. Yeah, this year has been a tough year. It has been a year of challenges, a year of conflict, a year of racism, a year of bitterness, a year where there have been opposing sizes on every hand. But through it all, God has been faithful. It's been a challenging year for our family members, for, for our health and their health. It's been a challenging year for, for churches all over the world. But Jesus has said it well. In Matthew chapter 16, he says to us that the very gates of hell should not stand and should not shake and should not destroy the very foundation of Christianity. That's Jesus Christ. The gates of hell would not destroy his church. And we thank God for including us in this family. And we thank God for you for being a part of this family. During this year, as we went through the introduction of a pandemic, and we're still living through this pandemic, God has proved himself to be faithful. The Bible is clear that regardless of what we go through, God will always be faithful. The challenge to us tonight, as well as it will be for the year of 2021, is will we be faithful to the Almighty God who is so faithful to us? Again, I want to thank you for being supported. Thank you for being prayerful. And thank you for being a part of all our broadcasts. We just want to say again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We thank God for, for just blessing us to walk as a corporate family in Jesus Christ. We have gone through Philippians this year. We've gone through Colossians this year. And God has walked us through the Word of God during our worship service. I want to thank our Sunday school teachers for being faithful. I want to thank them for being faithful to our youth, to our children. I want to thank them for continuing to make a way to present the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to thank our men and our women uh, serving leaders for leading our men and our women, even in the midst of a pandemic, letting the other men and women see your faith, letting them and allowing them to to feed off of you. I want to say to our leaders, thank you. I want to thank our musicians, our choir members. I just want to say thank you for just being faithful to praising and lifting up the name of Jesus. To our First Impressions ministry, thank you. Thank you for keeping a smile on your face. Thank you for ushering in people for making sure that the coast is clear, that there is no danger that will ever come to our church because you are watchmen on the wall. I want to thank our care ministry for just caring for the needs of the people, for standing strong in the midst of disaster, for standing strong in the midst of threats, for standing strong in the midst of health challenges. And then I want to thank our partners who have partnered with the New Beginning Church. When the pandemic hit, so many of our family members and our friends not only became members of the church, but they also sent in financial support. 
needs. They oftentimes let us know that they're praying for our church. And when they sowed seed, they reminded us that they are only sowing seed to our church because it's in good soil. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you to our media ministry for making media priority, for making the ministry what it is today. And certainly our ministry wouldn't be along this far if it had not been for our ministry team in the media ministry. You see, many churches were caught off guard because they had never broadcast remotely. But our media ministry, for the last 16 years, has been faithful and made sure that we were prepared for this moment, even before this moment occurred. I just want to say thank you. For those who are participating with us in serving God's ministry behind the scene, thank you. Thank you for those who work in culinary. Thank you for those who work in hospitality, for making our guests feel welcome. I'm so proud to pastor a church that make others feel welcome. I just want to say to Deacon Raymond Afford and also Minister, Minister Richard, J.R. Richard, thank you, man, for for assisting me in leading this church. Thank you for, for your words of kindness, for your support, for your phone calls, for holding up the preacher's arm. To the Her Ministry, thank you. Thank you for serving my wife and I, serving my wife and me, <laughs> serving us that we will represent our church well. It's because of your gifts, it's because of your hospitality, it's because of the love that you have shown us that has kept us strong, even in times like these. During Sister Davis' sickness, it was our church that helped us to pull through. And I know she just wanna thank you today, so I'm gonna let her thank you. <laughs> As Pastor Davis was saying, and we just want to just take this time just to say how much we just truly appreciate everything that you all have done. You know, this was a really rough time for me this particular year with the COVID and also uh, being diagnosed with breast cancer and going through chemo, radiation, surgery. And I just literally felt the prayers of the saints and so I thank you all for bombarding heaven uh, on my behalf. And I am just so thankful to God for just uh, clearing me. I am a cancer survivor. I can say that. So I just thank and praise God for that. That lets me know that God is not through with me. God has much more for me to do on this, on this earth. And if I tell you I am one, I'm ready to do it. Whatever God has for me, that's what I want to do. So I just want to take this time again just to thank you all for your support of me and of, of Pastor Davis and uh, those of you who have uh, supported the church. So thank you all so much. We appreciate you. We, we love you. We, we thank you for walking with us and, and keeping us. Amen. And I know I haven't called everybody's name. I realize that I've missed some people, but let me just say to you, you mean much to us. Let me just say to you that you have been a blessing to us. Thank you for giving us your children. Thank you for allowing us to impact your life. And thank you just being co-laborers with us in God's ministry. I do want to leave, leave with you a passage of scripture as we march in 2021, if the Lord tarries, if the Lord spares us, we will be embarking upon a brand new year. And just because we turn the calendar, just because we go from 2020 to 2021, life as we know it will not just automatically change. 
COVID is still running rapid. We are on the brink of 2021. Some people are saying that I'll be so glad when 2020 <laughs> get out of here. But a friend of mine put it like this. When 2021 comes in, 2021 will be 21 years old. 2021 will be able to drink. 2021 could be like, like 2020 on steroids. But we are the people of God. And we believe God. And the word of God says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verses 12 through 15. And I'm reading from the New King James Version. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer. And, and I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain and command the locusts to devour the land or send the pestilence among the people. In other words, when disaster hit, when God turns disaster toward us, when God allows disaster to take place, then he says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then, then, and only then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers made in this place. Lord is listening. <laughs> God is listening. God is waiting. Yeah. And God is blessing. Yes. God is faithful. That's right. As we march out of one year into another year, let us be faithful. That's right. That's let us be faithful to God as God has been faithful to us. And just remember the words of God. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, and seek the face of God, trust in him, God promises that he will heal the land. And the verse we always miss over, run over is verse number 15 where it says, for my eyes will be open and my ears attending to prayer, the prayer made in this place. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for who he is and what God has already done. If you have not already, go ahead and put in your gift, your birthday gift to Jesus. Go ahead and put your birthday gift in tonight. Your gift for Jesus. Go ahead and put your birthday gift in to Jesus. We'll be back here tomorrow night at 8, 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. tomorrow night to usher out the old year and usher in the new year if the Lord tarries. We'll have our watch night celebration. We will have communion. We will have testimonies. And I'm asking you to make sure that you type in your testimony whether you're on Facebook Live or whether you're on Zoom, type in some things that you thank God for. We want to make it interactive. Not only that, January 1, we will begin our Bible listening and our Bible journaling. We're going to listen to the entire Bible. We're asking you, I'm asking you, we are asking you to join us in listening to the Bible every day. Four chapters a day. 
four chapters a day. We're going to listen to the word of God. We believe that God has something to say to us. We will let the electronic equipment pronounce those words for us <laughs> that we, we cough when we get to it <laughs> and we sneeze at when we get ready to read them. So let's, let's listen to the word of God together. Four chapters a day. We will start in Genesis chapter 1 and end up in Revelation chapter 21. We want, we're asking our family members and our friends from January 1st to December the 31st, we'll be listening to the Bible. And as we're listening, we will still be doing our daily reading for our Sunday school class. And I'm asking us to do this and we all will get on one accord and prioritize the word of God. Make it first in our lives. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, we thank you now. We bless your name. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for all that you do. Lord, we thank you for this year. And Lord, you brought us to the brink. You brought us to the threshold of a brand new year. Lord, your word is still true. If your people who are called by your name would just humble themselves and pray, if your people would just seek your face, if your people would just turn from their wicked ways, then, Lord, we know that you will heal from heaven. You will heal our land. We pray, Lord, that you heal our land. We pray that you bless us, and we pray that you continue to walk with us. In Jesus' name we pray, and we ask it all. Amen and thank God. Please make sure you give your offering. You can give your offering. You can give your offering by way of cash tag at NBC Souls, cash tag NBC Souls, or you can give your offering by way of Zelle. The Zelle account is lifting.jesus at yahoo.com, lifting.jesus at yahoo.com. Or you can mail in your offering, your tithes and your offering to P.O. Box 503 Missouri City, Texas 77459 We will have Sunday school this Sunday at 9 a.m. Please join us on Facebook Live. We will have church service in the new year if the Lord says the same at 10.45 a.m. And then we will begin our Bible study on Wednesday nights at 7.20 p.m. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being a part of our lives and thank you for being a part of our ministry. We look forward to sharing the word of God with you on a regular basis. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Be blessed. Lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart Because you cared for me in such a special way, that's why I pray.